After the release of dash cam video showing the fatal shooting of a New York man by a New Jersey state trooper, Governor Phil Murphy says the case will be presented to a grand jury. Maurice Gordon of Poughkeepsie was pulled over for speeding on the Garden State Parkway last month. The video shows Gordon and Sergeant Randall Wetzel struggling before Wetzel fired his handgun six times, killing Gordon. The video was released amid worldwide protests of police use of force against black people in the wake of the death of George Floyd. Joining me now, New Jersey State Assemblyman Jamel Holly and Pete Stillianessis, president of the State Troopers Non-Commissioned Officers Association. Gentlemen, welcome to Chasing News. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much, Bill. Good afternoon. Uh... All right. Pete, I'm going to start with you on this. Uh, just kind of walk us through it. We've we've seen the video. It seems that the officer's position will be that this was justified as the uh, suspect here went for his firearm. It is, uh, Bill. And I prepared a statement which uh, which was released today. You know, I stand beside my member and our agency. We're a professional agency, and we do things by the numbers. We were under some of the strictest guidelines in the country, uh, and was released from uh, federal monitoring in 2000. Uh, September 21st, 2009. And uh, since then, there was implementation of guidelines that protect uh, everyone in the state of New Jersey. Uh, we created a monitoring system, OLEPS, the Office of Law Enforcement Professional Standards Act in 2009. A lot of other states look upon us on how we do things. Is it hard to judge these things in the context of everything going on? And the video really does speak volumes. What's your take? In any of these cases, they're all different. And um, where, the, where the frustration comes at is the lack of transparency. I think that the state police have some, some great men and women. I've worked alongside them for many, many, many years. This is another one of those cases, but what's important in this case is that the transparency and the, and the information and the account, accountability be made available to the public. And then so far that, that is happening as it stands right now. So I think that we can use this mark moment and yet, yet again to come together and united with both law enforcement officials and the community and, and to continue to work on reforms that's much needed. Do you as a legislator and your colleagues on both sides of the aisle have confidence in the New Jersey State Police? Yeah, of course, there are some great men and women. You can't loop in and, and box in the, the goods versus a, a few bad apples. Our relationship with the state police have been uh, well-maintained. They're, they're great men and women. We look forward to working with them. We have some bills that we uh, have been working with them on, and I'm hoping that this moment we can work together to get this passed and get it to the governor so he can sign Pete, it. Pete, with all the tension out there, is it getting harder for state troopers and other officers to do their job because they're looking over their shoulders? Absolutely. It, 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 is, it is. We have a job to do, and too many times we're tried in, uh, in the media uh, with false narratives. And uh, now, especially now, is not the time to do that. We are a professional organization. You can't uh, come up with a narrative to defund the police or get rid of the police. It's, it's, not, it's not a good narrative. Pete, thank you. Jamel, thank you. Great to see you both. Good to see you. God bless you all. Thank you.